I am 64 years old. My first job was working in a library at 14 as a page, and that's when I discovered James Baldwin. So a lot of kids nowadays, young people, they're a little bit more exposed. And I think the fact that some of my books were turned into films or some people, young people, that were aware of the films before they were the books. Um, but I have a lot of young people who, and when I say young, I mean 30, <laughs> um, who say that you know one of the things that I did was help them accept their own voices and realize that they can tell our stories um, in their own voices and for that they are grateful and I'm grateful. I believe that at any age you can pretty much invent or reinvent yourself. A lot of us are bored or tired and I think a lot of us really need a boost and some of us are afraid to. I raised my son for the most part hard-handedly. He is 31 years old now. Stanford University graduate, I'm proud to say. And um, he's a musician. And he's a little hesitant about, oh, mom, I don't know if I'll be able to make my living doing this. And I'm saying, I said, you're doing fine. You know, you don't have to be Bow Wow or, you know, um, what's his name, Drake. You do this on your own terms and at your own pace and at your own level. And I feel that way about a lot of people who are trying to make, who are trying to find their way. Because when I started writing, I had no idea I was one day going to be a best-selling author. I had no way of, you can't per perceive that. You can't, you can't. And it's the wrong reasons for doing anything as far as I'm concerned, especially in the arts. Um, wanting to do what you do to the best of your ability and to uh, have an, a, a positive impact on others is one thing. But, um, you know, I wasn't trying to start a revolution. <laughs> I just wanted people to feel good about the stories that I was telling. And they made me feel good, so I just hoped that it permeated, you know, that other, it had that effect on other people. But you, you can't predict. Um, a lot of this stuff, you just cannot. And that's important to me, um, to put it, your heart into it and do it from your gut. And chances are, as long as you have a positive effect on other people's lives, I don't think it should make a whole lot of difference if it's a million, 25, or 500. You know, that's the whole point, I think. Without sounding corny, I think that's what God put us here to do.